What is going on guys, Chris Crash Nick here, and today it's currently, I guess you can call it Sunday night, Monday morning, but it's Monday morning at 2 a.m. right now, and I just wanted to start the video right here and just kind of thank every single one in my Patreon messages and my YouTube messages. I literally just spent the past like two and a half, three hours messaging back patrons and messaging back on YouTube comments, and it's honestly just truly inspiring just reading all your guys' comments and it's very motivating for me to continue these vlogs and continue to try to get better and get on my feet that much quicker because I, I really am excited to like go back to my normal life. I know it's only been two weeks but it's been like an insane eye opener with like how lazy I was and things that I just want to change about my life and I just didn't care enough I guess you can say to want to change it but now being I guess you could say as crippled as I am and not being able to do the things I want to do I want to do them now which sounds pretty typical but it really is true but um probably should try to get some rest just want to start the video here ironically enough I got a good subway sandwich right here my mom made me all this pumpkin cake which I, I, I love pumpkin cake, but look how much she brought me. Look at all of this cake. She told me to be a little healthier, which is this, this woman brings me all this cake. And then John, my stepdad, he made me these amazing croissant and broccoli rolls. I love those things. And I got cookies here. And my mom, every single time she comes, she brings me all this junk food. Can't really open it too much because this chair is locked right here, but I got bubblies in there that Courtney brought, that my mom brought, a bunch of chips, just a bunch of stuff in these drawers. I'm really excited for today. Um, I'm not excited to wake up because I'm gonna have to wake up for like 6 a.m. for PT and stuff. But uh, at noon, Courtney is coming to visit. Um, it's been really hard because she hasn't been able to visit much too because she's just got a new job and she's been literally working every single day, but I'm proud of her. She's working hard and she's liking her new job and stuff and that's cool, but I haven't seen her since her birthday. Like I didn't even get to see her on her birthday because um, they brought me down to that COVID center and I wasn't able to see her. She, she had the day off and everything. We had the whole day planned, but considering they thought I had COVID because I had a 100.3 fever and the slightest, um, sore throat of my life, I wasn't able to see her, but I have all of her presents there that my mom nicely wrapped at the house for me and, um, ready to give to her. I'm, I'm really excited to do that and kind of spend the day with her tomorrow, but Enough rambling, I'm gonna try to get some sleep. I, I can't sleep at night anyways. I, I wake up with these crazy spasms and the sweat, the sweat is crazy, man. Like the amount of times I wake up and like wipe my face of just dripping sweat is honestly insane. My mom brought me this fan, so hopefully it'll help, but enough rambling. I'm gonna eat some Subway and some cake. Fat life. What up? Ah, okay guys, well, it is 9 in the morning. I I want to say that last night was going to be my best night of sleep ever. I was about to fall asleep at 3, everything was going great. The fan, I mean, I definitely woke up sweaty for sure, but it definitely helped a lot. And the only sucky part is people came in at 5, asked me some questions. People came in at 5.30, asked me some questions. People came in 6, take some medicine. People came at 6.30 to let me know when the PT was, and I didn't get much sleep, and it was really awful, but um, I just got done with my first round of physical therapy. We kind of just worked on getting out of the bed, getting into the wheelchair, going to the gym and stuff, and uh, seeing how much I can actually, like, touch down on my right knee. Haven't really stood up yet. It, it's, it's throbbing pretty good right now, I can't even lie, so... They want me to sit in this wheelchair for an hour. All I want to do is jump in this bed and just go to sleep like a creature. But um, I kind of just, when they ask me a question, I'm like, what do you want me to do? And I kind of just do what they want me to do. So um, wheelchair sucks. It's it's funny because like I, I liked to sit in the wheelchair at the shop like all the time, do wheelies, go around. Now that I'm actually in a wheelchair, it sucks. Well, probably because I can't do wheelies or anything, but maybe when I get this um, hand free, it'll be a different story. My mom, mom's gonna, I'm gonna give my mom a heart attack. Sorry, mom. Um, next up is speech therapy, which ironically enough, I probably need it because I uh, don't pronounce things the best way. Maybe we can get rid of some rudnickisms. <laughs> it's pretty funny they're putting me through speech therapy. Uh, moving on. Oh my God, that speech thing is not what I was expecting. And it made me insanely insecure on how bad my like, 
short-term memory losses. Just have a few questions for you guys, right? If I were to tell you three words, let's just try it. If I told you three words right now, cat, pickle, bird, right? If you can remember that in the next minute, after I tell you this story, you don't have short-term memory loss, I guess. Once upon a time, there was this kid in this hospital and his girlfriend, his birthday was coming up, and all this kid wanted to do was he wanted to see his girlfriend, and they had this whole plan planned out, and they, they were ready, bought her presents, and his mom was gonna bring him to the unit, and it was gonna be a very good day. Doctors ended up coming into the patient's room, the, the kid, and said, hey bud, you might have COVID, we're kicking you out of here and we're sending you to the COVID floor so you can get 17 swabs, we can stick it up your nose and hit your brain, All right? Kid didn't get to see his girlfriend, girlfriend was sad, kid, kid was sad, and now he had to wait over a week to see her. Editing this video the next day and I kind of forgot to add one thing to this little quiz here. Now before that you tell me those three words, you have to answer some questions about the short story, such as, how many swabs did the kid say he had for the COVID test? What was the kid trying to do instead of going down to the COVID center? And how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Now, what were those three words? To be honest, I almost don't remember them. It was, holy shit, it was cat, pickle, bird, think. Did you remember that, actually? I'm not good, and she wanted to me like to repeat sentences like, imagine this, um, you have to repeat these three sentences right after I say them. A robber stole my money and I had a lot of money in it. The police caught him and he ended up going to jail for a very long time, and now he's on death row for killing someone else in the jail. Now can you completely pause this video and confidently say that you can say those three sentences back. If you can, great, good for you. I, I probably could, because I personally just made them up in my head, but um, I wasn't good. Those were like the two very weak points, and a lot of stuff was just stupid, like, all right, you put four categories, cars, animals, whatever, like that stuff was easy, but um, the memory stuff really stressed me out a lot, but I, I, I knew that like I've I've struggled with that because like even when I do like sponsors and stuff I'll like sometimes like write a script for me to say and like I'll have it in like the corner and like I'll read it and everything and I'm like all right this is exactly what I'm saying I got this I read it over and over and over and I'll stare at the camera and be like all right today's video is sponsored by Raiden today and I'll sit here like a moron and it's very frustrating it, it's something that I've been dealing with for a long time so it's definitely nothing new it just sucks and it's it's scary when someone comes into your room to like assess you on that and like it really comes to reality and like you realize like how much you suck at it so i don't, i just don't like being bad at things especially like brain things so uh i don't know rants over speech thing was awful rather them try to make me stand and break my kneecap honestly but uh moving on little update here just got out of my third OT, PT, OT. I had PT, then speech therapy, and th then I had OT, which pretty much kind of help you with like your daily struggles and like what I'm gonna be struggling with. And they helped me get in on, under the commode and stuff, in and out of the wheelchair like usual. And we did try to stand up. Sadly, it didn't go as good as we were anticipating. For some reason, man, my hamstring is like so tight. Like as soon as like my leg touches the ground, it's a it's the worst pain in the world like I can't even describe it and like all I can do is just lift it up immediately like fall back on the bed and like try to like get it back off the ground and stuff it, it's the worst but I was able to stand for like three seconds and after that I really couldn't bear too too much after but I did want to touch base on this like whole pill thing because people seem concerned and for obvious reasons but um I do want to let you guys know that I have like when I was in the bone and joint and when I was in a lot of pain, I, I was taking a lot of pain medication. I was on oxycodone, 10 milligrams every three hours just because the pain was honestly so bad. But the past few days, I've really been leaning myself off of it. Like today, the only time I had it was, I had five milligrams at 8 a.m. and it's now one, I haven't had anything. And the only time I am going to is at night because at night, before I go to bed at like one, I get really bad muscle spasms and like that's when things start to hurt. So I just take a muscle relaxer and I take a painkiller. But I just want you guys to know that 
that, that is not my intention at all to abuse it. I couldn't imagine taking pain medication when you're not hurt. It doesn't really make me feel any type of way. It, honestly, my pain doesn't go away after taking it. So I, I, I don't know. I just don't want you guys to worry. I got it under control. And um, people are saying I'm looking thinner. I don't, I don't think that's true. Maybe it's just the GoPro and the wide angle. I haven't moved positions since every time I talked. But uh, Courtney's coming right now with some Moe's. So we'll get the blubber back. Ooh, I'm so excited for Moe's and some pumpkin cake. And Courtney said she wanted to learn how to play chess today, which I'm stoked about. I love chess. Another little update. So I had um, another doctor come in and look at my hand just one last time because I've been really concerned about it. As I tell you guys every single video, um, it's still numb. And they looked at the x-rays again. The doctor actually just came in. It's 6.30 now, and they're putting me in a real cast. I don't, I don't really know the difference. I'm going to talk to him about it and stuff. But look who decided to show up. Did you like your birthday, even though it wasn't your birthday? Yes, thank you. I'm really happy. I got, it, it's funny because um, Chester's birthday is October 7th. And Courtney's birthday is October 10th. So I just got present for, for both of them. And I got um, Chester this crazy tennis, tennis ball tennis. shooter. Yeah, just go over there. So I, I, I bought it. I bought a thing. I'm still buying things in the, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> How cool is that thing? It's amazing. Yeah, she's going to send me videos tomorrow because she's going to use it tomorrow. But yep. I'm really excited. I'm excited to maybe figure out what's wrong with my hand too because that's been stressing me out. But figured I'd update you guys. I'm looking at my new toy over there. It was definitely overkill for sure. But I got a fucking Cadillac, baby. All right, guys. So it is the next day. Oh, I, I don't think I showed you this. We got the full cast on and everything. Um, Courtney was here and it was funny because she was like talking to the doctor. She was like... He doesn't get to pick his color? Like, what's going on with that? And, like, we were talking about, like, when you were younger, like, if you can relate to this, cool. But, like, when you're younger, like, you think braces are cool. Like, people have braces. Like, you want braces. You want, like, different color braces. Or, like, you see one of your friends with a cast. You're like, oh, I'd love, a, like, blue cast or whatever. And, like, I could definitely relate to where she was coming from with that. But, also, now being that guy in that cast you're like, wow, that's really stupid at the same time. But it, it was just a funny conversation. But I definitely think I've been stirring up a ruckus here at the hospital because um, I, I don't think the PT people really trust me. And they, <laughs> they think that I'm going to get hurt. I mean, it, it, it's really hard because, like, obviously, you know by now, like, if you if you watch my channel all the time, like, you understand my personality, like, I'm, I'm not a serious person. I'm definitely a, a really laid back person. I, I like to joke around and like the way that I cope with like an accident like this. So I like to make jokes. I like to just have fun and I, I guess you can say be myself. So I mean, I was talking about like, yeah, I get home and I do some wheelies in the wheelchair. Like just mess around. Like I, I can't do a wheelie in a wheelchair. It's not even possible in my current situation and I guess they took me serious and then they were nervous and like yeah, you can't go home right now like it's, un it's unsafe and I explained that like my mom got like a recliner for me and it like fully like goes up and down and then they didn't think that I can get in it so today we it, it, this felt good like she brought me to like the gym and everything and she's like okay get on the couch yourself I got this sliding board right here and that's what I use to transfer myself I'm like all right put the sliding board under my butt slide on down to the couch, she's like, all right, get up. I'm like, all right. Put it under my butt again, slide up to the wheelchair, everything's good in the neighborhood, and I'm like, how that, how's that? And then she's like, all right, let's go to the recliner. And the recliner's a little difficult because it's got the two side rests that don't go up or down, they don't do anything, they just sit there. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a go. Easy as one, two, three, I did it. and. She was like, well, that's not the way we recommend doing things. And I'm like, well, I did it. I didn't get hurt. And there was no, there was never a point in time where you felt the need to put your hands out like I was going to get hurt. So I don't know. I think I'm doing great. I mean, I don't think I've put myself in any sort of danger. I think this is sort of more of like a hospital thing. I mean, I can understand I'm definitely reckless at times, like really reckless. But it's just part of who I am. And it's like... If you want me to do something, like to get onto a couch or to get onto a recliner chair, like I'm gonna find a way to do it. If it doesn't look pretty, it doesn't look pretty, but like what I'm doing, I feel confident in. And like, if I feel like I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna fall. But at the same time, I have yet to be like, oh crap, I can't get out of a situation 
in my current situation, if that makes sense. Like I've always felt safe and comfortable with what I was doing. And I think being comfortable with what you're doing, such as drifting, that's very important because if you're not comfortable, you're not gonna do good at things. You need to be confident in the right sense of the word. And I think I, I was using it correctly. I I don't know how this ended up being so long. I guess it's turned into a rant, but I don't know. I just wanted to share it with you guys. We got a cast. Speech came in again today. They're worried about my memory, which kind of stresses me out, but I kind of explained to them, I'm like, look, I think it's just because like, you're talking about Jose went to the bunny park and picked out 17 bunnies and one bunny died. And I, I don't know, it's a, it's a story that I completely just made up, but I, I just told her that like, I think that I can't remember it because there's no relevance to it. And I, and I really, when you said this, I'm like, I, I just don't care what you're talking about. And it's like, on top of now we're playing this like memory test game. Now in my head, I have anxiety and I'm like, oh my God, I have to remember every sentence she says. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I'm, I'm more concerned about like, okay, I need to remember this than paying attention, if that makes sense. So today what we did was I was like, she was like, why don't we talk about topics you like? I'm like, okay, BMX, video games, cars, let's do that. And she asked me like a bunch of different questions and I was able to give her all of the answers after she read me like a short story. So, I don't know. I'm definitely not worried about it. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with like my sleep schedule and like just not getting enough sleep and maybe hitting the pen too many times. And I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's anything serious going on, but... I, I'm ready to get, get out of here. My mom's coming at uh, one o'clock and we're gonna do PT together for two hours with another PT person. And uh, we're just gonna see how I do. I'm pretty confident that I can get the fuck out of here. Like I'm, I'm, I'm ready to just hit the elevator and dip. Just move over it, move over it. All right guys, so I think we're gonna end the video right here. Um, this video was definitely a talking video for sure. But I promise you, I'm, I'm a couple days ahead at this point. And we got some hot fire coming for you. I just made a big purchase. Um, I'll give you a hint. Christopher Walken's my homie. And th things are starting to go down. Things are happening big at the shop. There's a lot. There's literally a ton of hey, things going. Walkins or Reeves? Oh, man. Have we been saying the wrong thing? No. It is Christopher Reeves. <laughs> it's Christopher Reeves because I remember an Eminem song. <laughs> oh, man. Is it it's Christopher Walken? That, that is somebody. Look up Christopher Walken. I, isn't that the genius? Christopher, Christopher Reeves in your Superman costume. You're taking this crap too far. He's an American actor, singer, comedian, and director, screenwriter, and dancer. What, Christopher Walken? Who is not in a wheelchair. No, he's not in a wheelchair? No, it's this guy, the guy in Spider-Man. You got your superheroes mixed up. Oh <laughs> my god. So it's Christopher Reeves. 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 Yeah. Damn it. I thought he was your, what did you call him? Your, your... Superman. No, you called him like your guy or something. My, my, my wheelchair homie. Oh, your wheelchair homie. <laughs> okay, well, I just messed up like 17 clips, but I guess we're just going to have to roll with it at this point. This was an outro. See ya. Peace.